Howdy folks, this is going to be the first ever Illustrator tutorial screencast I'm going to try out here. So we're going to do this live in one take, so excuse any problems, but today I just want to teach you a technique that I've done countless times since I discovered that I could do it. It's super basic, but it just creates highlights and uh, some fancy shadows within Illustrator. Obviously gives you hard edge being vectors and uh, something you might like. So here we go, this is the starting document here. Uh, all of this is raw text at the moment. So what we're going to do first of all, and keep this in mind, I hope you know your keyboard shortcuts because I'm so used to them, I don't know where a lot of stuff in the menus is. So first of all, we can, uh, we'll can we create outlines. Here we can do it right click. So create outlines of the text. Now when you're working with this text, it makes it as a group. And that's really not good enough when we're going to start cutting into these paths. So what you want to do is combine it. So hold down Option uh, on the Mac or Alt on the PC, I think and combine. That's the first one there on the Pathfinder tab. Uh, so what this does, it makes it all the one shape, but that's still only a group. It's not a com uh, compound path. So what we want to do is press uh, Command 8, Apple 8, or where is it? Object, Compound Path, Make. So now we've got one compound path. It's just going to treat it as one shape. So now the next thing we want to do is cut out this shape. Uh, if we go up to this Object menu again, we go Path, Offset Path. I'm using pixels at the moment, so negative five pixels. What we want to do is just create a small inset path from the current word as it is. So just go offset path there. Now for some reason in CS3, Adobe decided that you want them both selected at once. I never want that to happen, so I don't know why they chose to do that. So select our new inside path, uh, and we'll change the color of it for now. This helps us identify it. And what we want to do now is uh, grab that, hold down Option or Alt on your PC, and we're going to make a duplicate here. And uh, hold down Shift, drag it about 45 degrees, and uh, make it probably move it about five pixels again. So uh, what we're doing here is creating our highlight area. So if we send that to the back and select both of these uh, new green paths that we've got here, and what we're going to do is the reason we sent that to the back is so we can cut the back out of the front. Uh, and you'll see what I mean when we click that. And so what we're left is the height with is the highlight. It kind of looks a bit ordinary right now, so we'll grab that background, make it the darker color. That still looks terrible. There we go. Basic highlight looks really nice and flash. Um, that said, I'm making this tutorial right as this sort of style is going out. So, uh, and what you can do with this also is make a really nice sort of shadow. Uh, one way of doing a shadow probably seen a lot before is just to do it like that um, so we just duplicate that text as it is but using the same sort of thing we can make this a bit more intricate we'll grab that and we'll oh, wrong one we'll grab that and we'll duplicate that up towards there and again send it to the back grab them both and minus back and what that leaves us with is a bit more sophisticated uh, background it's got that nice cutout look to it old sign writing look sort of thing that looked a lot worse. So there, there we go. Uh, really super basic tutorial there on how to do some nice vector highlights and shadows. Uh, hope you enjoy it. Hope you find it useful. And uh, hopefully I'll have some more Illustrator and Photoshop tutorials, tutorials uh, in time to come. Thanks.